Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at finding the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Well, first of all, you need to know that an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three equal sides. So you can just add all three sides together to get the perimeter. Or since they're equal, you can just take three times the length of one side, that S stands for side, and you'll get the perimeter. So here we've got an equilateral triangle and the side is 12 so we know all three sides are 12 so let's label that so we can just take 3 times 12 to get 36 so my perimeter would be 36 units okay now let's look, look at one that's a little more difficult let's look at this one okay let's say that we knew the altitude this time was let's say 12 instead of the side being 12. Well, the altitude is actually shorter than that side because if you notice, if we draw an altitude down, we have a right triangle and that's a leg of a right triangle. And then we, are, we know that the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So we need to figure out the length of the side so we can multiply by three to get the perimeter. So let's work this one backwards. We know that this is a 30, 60, 90 because inside an equilateral triangle, you've got angles that are all 60 degrees. So when you draw that altitude down, you have a right angle, a 90 degree angle, which forces this up here to be a 30 degree angle. So we actually have the long side of a 30, 60, 90. To work from the long side to the short side, we're gonna divide by the square root of three. So I'm gonna take 12, which is my long side, divided by the square root of three, because that's the rule. And that gives me four square root three for this short part. 4 square root 3. Well, that's only half of the side. So I'm now going to take that side times 2. So I'm going to take 2 times 4, which is 8 square root 3. And that then gives me the length of one side of an equilateral triangle. Now to take that side, I'm going to multiply it, remember, by 3 because I have 3 equal sides. So 3 times 8 square root 3 gives me 3 times 8 is 24 and you always just stick the square root of 3 next to it and that would be my perimeter okay so that is how you find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle hope this video is helpful